and been training over at Palos Verdes for a couple of days uh -huh. and um, went back to pick up the crew. Uh -huh. They were all flying in together in various points and uh, bikes did fine on the roof. Bikes did great, no problem for two days. Right. And on the way out, leaving the airport. Boom. Yeah. And we all kind of saw them in air, them take a bounce, and then them slide underneath the, the vehicle. What was your first, I mean, besides the, oh, whatever, what was your first thought? I, I'm done. I'm cooked. This is uh, not it was there go the bikes. That there was goes the bikes. that's that's all there was. Yeah. I mean, you know, maybe we can save them. Yeah. Uh, but it was pretty amazing to watch eight lanes of traffic stop. Yeah. No crashes behind. Um, everybody was real nice when we ran up there and pulled the bikes out. Right. Uh, pretty amazing. Was it not, I mean, was it a Honda Accord or what was a? Do you remember? Just it was just a Honda. And you know, what, what did the, we're gonna have to deal with him later. <laughs> <laughs> what did the? What did, was it? Who, who was the driver? I uh, just some guy. He was lived lives there. You oh, know, really? twenty minutes away. So uh, yeah. Was he, was he, was he, pretty cool about it or seems to be but we haven't talked to him since oh, so we, wow. we, we gotta that's all when we go back uh, after we get done here sure sure now okay so then the bikes are cooked you, you've given they come to that conclusion now what happens well I start rebuilding the rear wheel uh -huh. on the way to San Diego right. in the back seat we had a little powwow and sort of said we'll figure out something um, didn't have a plan and at all but we just we got to go to the start Got a, the only place we can have a chance to survive is if we make it to the start. Mm -hmm. We made it to the start. I had some, a great crew. Um, you know, it's a, I believe in, in the, the three-legged stool where, where every person's important. My three crew members are, are invaluable to me. Um, Jimmy Williams is a highly connected person, not so much in RAM, but in ultra cycling. Mm -hmm. And uh, he knows people who know other people who know other people and uh, in letting him share the story because I was a bit too upset um, we found people to help and we got to give great thanks to uh, Kevin Kaiser uh, because he is a as a Ram Rider 370 um, said my crew guy is a Mossy guy and um, he let his crew go to work for us um, so that crew really started to start the ball rolling for us we were gonna go try to buy bikes at some shop to try to make it to the start. Right. And uh, he said, you know, Mossy's just down the road, come with me. And um, within 24 hours, I was at the Mossy yeah. factory, looking at two boxes, oh. cracking open the boxes and spent uh, five hours building up my two race bikes from the parts I had and from brand new Mossy's. And, uh, had a chance to ride eight miles to shake one of them down. Didn't even shake the other one down uh, to sort of see, make sure all the bolts were tight. And uh, that was that was it. You know, I said, well, well we're going to go to bed and we're going to start raw and see how it goes. So, yeah, we, we lost four grand of bikes on, on the 405. And then we had to go and, and try to find new bikes. You know, that's like so. a country song, you know? <laughs> I lost two, two brand new bikes on the 405. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, believe me, I've been saying that quite a bit, you know, and it, it, it really did, uh, it, it, saying it was emotional was it, is an understatement. I mean, yeah. it was, it was uh, the pit of the stomach was gone. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, where did your drive go? Where do you, what do you do now? Is right. that, you know, you got so many things looking at you which is the first step you need to take right. and that's that's critical for everybody and every crewman if, if something ever happens is to find out that first step because you got to figure that first step if you miss that then you're, you're going to still struggle and struggle and struggle and it was a great lesson for everybody to learn and a great lesson for for our crew to understand that, that listen when, when things got really bad when you see the bikes on the ground in pieces then, you know we have 48 hours to get it to ride and what do we need to do it's, but it's just about the ride now. It's just about getting to Durango because that's that's all that matters. The only way I could say thanks to all the people that helped me, Phil, Kevin, everybody on the, the 370 crew that helped me and, and everyone else at, at, at Mossy Cycles and, and just a, a whole slew of people who really came forward to help. And the only way I could say thanks that would mean anything is to be standing here and hopefully be standing here with the fixed gear record for uh, on American soil of 860 miles uh, you know after we hit 380 miles it was all brand new to me anyhow so 
this is this is the only way I could say thanks that would have any kind of meaning to anyone who was involved in helping me get here.